that we have to take care of so before i jump into it i'll have to redraw this specific part so come back to, um, to my part here click on to and this plane why is it plane? so now we're drawing a rectangle of distance 76 and 46 so this is 76 and this is 46 enter let's zoom out right click ok and let me disable or delete these diagonal lines so i pick my line to right i draw a center line from this wall to this other wall right click ok then pick my dimension to a d you need to learn the shortcut key shortcut keys actually so the distance from here to here is 10 yeah the height is 10 so i sorry the height here is 10 enter then we have another line whose distance is 32 from above so line to l i click on l on my keyboard draw another line um a straight line yeah straight right click okay pick my dimension to d touch on this line to this line then that is 32 enter so in continuation i pick my line to l so i come on this point draw a diagonal line for my dovetail now let's see, overlap this line right click okay pick my line to once again another dovetail right click okay so now um i'm okay line to once more i come to the center here i draw a line down here good right click okay line to once again come from here draw a center line upward right click okay so now the next thing is pick your dimension to shortcut key d come to this dot then touch this guy so i'm being told the distance is 50 so both of them 25 enter then the same thing here these dots to this line is also 25 25 enter right then um dimension two i touch this line and this floor 60 degree 60 degree enter the same thing here as 180 minus 60 so right click escape dimension to once again this line to this line 60 degree enter okay so i'd like to turn off every dimension so i don't have problem whenever i'm erasing few parts so i come back here delete Ton of dimensions. Ton of that. I already even raised a part here, so I go to my trim again using shortcut key X. So I begin to raise few of my parts. So I figured the dimension line actually adjusted most of my drawing. Like it warped it in the last um picture I had. So um in continuation, we are done with this guy. We can erase this guy as well. We are done with him. Sorry, X trim two i cancel him out right click okay so now we'll be drawing the circles that are up above and they are circles diameter five remember i told you when you see m m means you are trading then when you see the number behind m that's the diameter of the circle so we're drawing diameter five enter trace the center line of our circle i got that diameter five enter again then trace this other side diameter five enter once again right click okay then dimension two i touch this center line to the center of my circle which is going to be 22 double twos enter i come here again center line to this line which is going to be 22 enter and the total height dimension height from here to the center of this circle is 16 16 enter same thing goes to this guy 16 16 enter sixteen enter okay so we are done with the sketch now the next thing we do is you click on e on your keyboard which means extrude shortcut key um let me zoom out yeah so we'll be extruding um all of these guys 
think I'd love to do this, close this block also. Just close it for now. I will be explaining later and let's face the other side. So I'm extruding that direction for thickness of thickness of 47 and 50. That's 50 minus that is 47. Okay, so I think I need to cancel this. Cancel this. Um just these two guys are going distance 50. So I put in my 50. Then I click on plus sign board. Everybody here. Everybody here would be going distance 47 at first. 47. 47. Sorry, let me place this in the center. So everybody here is going distance 47. So I click on my plus sign now. So I touch my three circles. My three circles. So they are going the other way around right i don't want to cut through totally i just want to cut through like a few distance like stop here like i want to cut through to this junction so i think at first i cut through for everything then i come back again touch the three of them then just fill in the depth a little bit because no matter how you screw it it would never come down to the back here the screw would stop somewhere in the center here and okay i can't even find the size of the screw but i don't know if i'm making sense to work yeah three three minimum lengths like the, the screw will be using is minimum of three ten minimum of 10 millimeter in length so i would rather fill in my gap for like let me say distance 20 yeah 20 which looks cool so now at the back here it's solid in front here i can always screw another part on this so i come to my thread tool sorry let me press home then come back to the front here then pick my thread to i want to thread these three circles the complores this guy plus this guy so i'm done and i click on ok so this is hit for hit all I need to cancel i need to um delete this that i created earlier this is actually wrong cancel no so what do i want to do i want to save this now to replace the other parts three save yes i need to replace cannot do the document open okay it's open in assembly file cancel cancel close the assembly file no don't save it then control s part three i'm replacing my part three save yes so yeah it successfully saved now let's go to the main thing for today which is coming to file so i'm going to be explaining a few things right now new or control hand um tomorrow most of us will have to come to this ipj format which is project or for the exam then you create a new project you come to new then next and you input the name you are given i think is magic number underscore maybe slash your name and all and all then i'll advise you insert your flash drive all through the process of the exam and change this directory to that of your flash drive so here is my memory card an external memory card on my laptop so if i had used this anything i'm saving is going to be here so i don't have to like start copying and pasting after the whole um stuff then you finish and it will be successful so after you do that i think you come here while you're creating now i want to do assembly 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 mm standard here yeah so you come here to this that's this default section then you change it to whatever new format or new project file you created so let's go ahead and create um i'll be importing all of my parts now so secondly again concerning people who came in my dm saying content library most of you don't have your content library because you did not install successfully you you interrupted your installation process i think at 95 percent it told you oh you can run the software and you decided to run or probably beginning of the installation process you did not so this is where you come to content library i clicked on place down here so it brought out like a lot of menu so within that menu is where i get to search 
exactly so you come here if you want fasteners whatever you want bolts and all and knots you search again i do it where you come it's going to be in place place here would this is where it's going to be which is place place here will show you things that you drew with your ends as you can see these are things i drew with my ends i'm going to open it now and paste it here yeah so i'll be needing two parts like i'll be needing two parts um okay so i'll be needing two parts let me come back again to place i need my parts i think part four no part five yeah i need it twice yeah i need it twice i'm gonna paste that and okay so as i was saying if you want something from your company library which we would actually do but time wouldn't permit me to go fetch all of the screws we'll be using or um, to fasten to fasten or um, this boat yeah i think you'll be taking some things from here yeah you get the name of the boat yeah? so you come somewhere around here to start searching for each boat that you're using to screw down the play but i'm just gonna couple things together and if you're a chance you can come around to start searching for the exact screw for the kind of um hole we created so zooming in i'm just gonna separate everybody from each other now so some of you will be wondering why is this thing opposite this is why it's opposite sorry why did i do that yeah, you can always come back to edit so some of you might be wondering why it's opposite let me ground this ground it this is why it is opposite when this guy sits here this blade this blade or teeth would stay on this opposite part which is um depth three like minus three 50 minus three this guy will also sit on this minus three part so quick one let me begin i pick up this guy click on my constraint which is shortcut key c then i touch on this surface then i rotate to this surface sorry press home again which is successfully done i click on ok let me zoom in now i'm gonna lift this guy sorry i'm gonna lift him up um constraint c i touch on this surface right then i want to go upside down to this surface home again zoom in i click on ok so if i slide this guy out the last thing i want to do now is constrain then i pick the center circle here yeah and the center circle here now that is very very good so as you can see it's straight nothing is injuring, injuring anything so i'm meant to look for the specific bolt sorry okay I meant to look for the specific bolts that would enter here. I think the three bolts that would enter here to screw it down. I meant to look for those, but time would not permit me to do so. So I think I'm gonna pick this guy next now. I'm gonna ground him down. Um, where is he at? Yeah, let's ground him at the moment because I want to screw this plate on him. So I click on constraint C, I touch on this guy then i rotate the other way around sorry let me press this sorry yeah um i want to zoom in on this surface yeah exactly this surface screws on this surface click home press ok sorry i want to make sure it's up enough sorry let me go to this surface now up yeah i think i can see better here sorry yeah so constraint again see i click on this surface then i turn upside down to this surface yeah so that works um boom i press ok so i can slide it over now the next thing i do is see again I look for the center center which is this guy then I rotate the other way around center of this guy yeah so it screws so if I should do this look through you can see it is straight all you just have to do is screw the bolts yeah yeah you can see it so i click on home and i press ok so next thing i'm about to do is sorry am i supposed to group this um 
on ground now I want to see if these two guys have been grouped um show relationship I just want to be sure there's nothing like you know grouping objects together because I tried doing it um and divided okay now they are attached cool that's cool so um I think I should make this guy a different color when I double click it takes me to this place so let me make him a different color so we can tell that those are two different seats yeah it's um loading so I'm just gonna choose um I think steel yeah let me do something steel anything steel um PQRS yeah something steel yeah governized steel cast yeah this looks good so let me press ctrl s to save it so it can reflect on this other side go back to assembly yeah so we can see the difference now i i click on um constrain one more time so i touch on this surface then i go on the net and this surface okay um let's go back home one more time then i click on c again on my keyboard sorry if i click on c cancel let me move in outward so you understand best what i want to do so c now i come to this angle now i'm not using surface i want to use an angle like see this line sorry you can see this line yes i want to show you like this is where i want you to always slide at so i go around this is it here exactly so i just command it like yo you should always slide seated on this surface and slide at that angle sorry so you can see him sliding back and forth so for this guy very simple or um, constraint shortcut key c i touch on this surface let me rotate over then touch on this surface good so we are going to use the same style we use which is angle and um axis so let's bring him out now we're going to be using axis c again so now that this time around we're using this axis against the axis on the other side yeah which is this axis constrain successfully enter home again then now it's not going to be seated symmetrically like let me show you from the side view most of us might have made mistake like oh it's meant to sit down no no it's not meant to sit down it's meant to um, you are meant to align the O's on both of them then you find the screw that is going to sit inside here and screw it down or the bolts um, then constrain one more time so now we are using axis against axis and that is also now if you look at it from this side sorry from the side you can see I said it was not going to sit downwards so let's go back home i come again with this guy i'm using axis c again axis against axis and if i press ok i pull in backwards cool so i tell it to always lean on this surface now that's all i have to do sorry click on home so zoom in and i click on constraint i tell it this surface i want it to always be or um, with this now nah, how can i do this how can i do this i think yeah this works okay let's check it out now all i just did is the surface of this guy exactly so when you push is pushing that guy is pushing is pushing so whatever you want to clip between the device will stay between screws so this guy last guy you press c this guy then into this o where's the o i can't yeah this is the o yeah enter so i press ok and i press my home key so guys here yeah, it is successfully done so if i should rotate this guy sorry rotate this guy i don't know i wouldn't want to stop like stock this guy somewhere and i wouldn't want to do that because i know this vice machine this actual stuff moves like it goes up and down i don't know how else to lock it but just so we submit assignments this is it this is the vice machine so make sure you like comment and subscribe to the channel peace out and always press your control s to save assembly in im format then on the other hand again you come to file to save as pdf you come to file 
um, savers or export, I mean, and PDF format. So you save now, you can see it's normal IM, it's in PDF format. So I want to replace assembly one and I press OK to save and I say yes, replace it, no problem. Um, on the other hand, let's go to the drawing file. We come to file, then um, we come to new. We come to what is it called? Drawing um ISO sorry, ISO the WG create. Then we come to base. Base we show literally anything that is open on our laptop. So I want like the home view. Home view, cool, cool, cool. Then um, I want one ratio one. How big is one ratio one? Yeah, one ratio one looks cool. And this one says it in line. Nope or yes. Mm, I think yeah. That's fair. Why is it very very dark? Turns out very very black in color. So yes, guys, this is it. This is all in all of this guy. And just in case you press your controls again, then you fill in everything that has to be filled. Um, saving my assembly file now and what else again can I do? I think, yeah, I just saved that. So I want to open a new drawing file, DWG, new DWG. I want to try section it. Let's see how it looks. It will section. Okay. Let's go to presentation. That's true. Standard MM IPM create then um yeah file name i don't know vice or yeah i think it's a date but let me call it vice at the moment then it's asking for the documents file name yada yada preview and available documents sorry up or um, I save on my desktop, so this is it. One of these guys were, I think it's assembly one. What's in assembly three? Okay, it's assembly three. Open. So here I dismantle everybody backwards, like in a backwards manner, tweak components, tug one, tweak components, don't forget. Then follow the arrow. Now you have to do everything backwards. Backwards manner, follow the arrow follow the arrow this guy next follow the arrow then this guy next follow the arrow slide out totally and bring him up then this guy next slide out totally then this guy next slides out totally so we press play can we fast forward this actually is taking time so um uh what do we do what do we do what do we do yeah i think that's all and to export it um new board tweak camera create drawing tools new keyboard new snapshot create view Oh, cancer. And how do you export this? Yeah, video. So export with yada yada file name storyboard one file format AVI WMV. I think AVI is better. And okay, I didn't even check the directory. Uncompressed. Until you yada. No, I I'm not sure. Sorry, let me check the process again. Video. Current storyboard, all storyboard, all storyboard, reverse video resolution. Okay, I want full HD and assembly three. Okay, it saves in documents. I don't want this, I want AVI reverse. Now, I don't know what's reverse or something, but let's just see what it saves at full frame uncompressed. I don't want to tamper with anything here, so let's just stay in full frame uncompressed. And let's see how long it takes for this to work so the, on the other hand i was trying to draw um something over the past few days that's the late machine 
and it's yeah someone successfully drew it today thanks to coca actually for you know the insight and all i would see if it's possible for me to draw it and i'm sorry for dropping the video late i'm so sorry man and best of luck in exams tomorrow so so calculator yeah on the other hand you guys will need your calculator tomorrow on your screen whenever you're drawing and don't forget shortcut keys would really really matter when you are drawing parts if you want to extrude immediately after you're done instead of pressing finish sketch then extrude all you do is you press e if you are done drawing and you want to extrude all you do is you press um and you want to revolve i mean r then when you want to draw a line l when you want to draw a circle c dimension is d when you want to trim is x but when you come to um when you come to this uh assembly junction yeah you need c to turn on your your constraint stuff yeah c c c then you mate your things together and yeah just so you can add up to your speed at doing everything you're doing this guy is actually taking um long time and i don't know how long let me go and search to see what it has saved actually directory was document Documents. Okay, here's the video. With what? One point seventy four gig. Nah, 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 nah. This is a joke. Oh no, it's storyboard. Sorry, I think it's not done that was the video i actually produced this morning yeah that was the video i produced this morning until i figured there was a mistake somewhere how is this stuff zero byte play just once Wow, this thing is taking a lot of time. We can't play here because the type of math is also put there. All right, so let's try again just to be sure what kind of video we have to produce. I come back again to video and current storyboard reverse. Um, I want full HD current storyboard story panel or so now this time around wmv file produce i think this is kind of faster but i'm surprised why this wmv file doesn't work well so let me delete this video from this morning Control shift delete enter and this starts not working Control shift delete enter and let's see how far this guy will go. Okay, this guy is actually taking space. Um, all right successfully done so you can go as well as study the test question also if your chance okay just 2 mb okay so the fear the right format to say that is wmiv not avi because it's not i'm um, readable by most laptops or desktops and i think vlc should be able to read it, but don't just gamble with it just save at wmv exactly so this was actually what we did and yeah let me just do this i'm gonna place this on youtube as 
a thumbnail whatever whatever so control s it and now nah, do i need ipn presentation okay save it actually then um once again i think section parts and all of those things i don't know really but file new um what's it called file new drawing i also did wg create so i think most of us want to bring in the parts one by one so when i come to base no snapshot exists in ipn file so desktop um yeah my desktop actually okay let's choose part one which is this guy home view so i'm coming please let me check the image that was sent over okay so this is this guy's front view that we're giving this was the front view and this is the side view that was also given as well so however we want to do it you can always okay if i click on home now right so first angle projection is um front of our plant and side so if this is our front i'm taking this up front sorry what's this cancel i need front i need this view home okay i think the best thing is just to spider web everything here and there i'm coming okay Arc. base view please so what am i having no delete this i don't need this for now escape ctrl z come back again to base now i need my part one instead part one okay yeah part one save yes okay directory let me change this cancel directory is part one yeah so this is the front view i need okay front front of our plant time side so yeah i take out the side then down here i bring the home view exactly so this is it um how do i just this scale let me do one to two one or two to one no one to two yeah i think this is better so this is this this is this and whatever you want to section you can always section ctrl s it and all of those so ctrl s also again for this you save it save then you come to file you can come to file and what's it called um not export yeah you can export as pdf also as you're being told so you can see save that pdf format and you press ctrl s it saves yeah so thank you very much guys subscribe to this channel and best of luck at your exams